Hi, Timothy Unkert here. In this video, I want to discuss HTML mode in Emacs. Now, HTML mode is built into Emacs. You don't have to install a separate package. It just comes shipped with Emacs, so you can go ahead and start using it. And the way it gets enabled is if you create an HTML file, uh, by default, you're going to have the HTML mode, and you'll see an HTML plus uh, in the status bar of that document below. Okay, so on the right-hand side, I have a test.html document, and then on the left-hand side, I have an HTML uh, mode.org document that I'm going to create a PDF from, and then I'm going to provide that link in the description. So all these commands that I cover, you don't have to memorize them as we're going through the video. You'll be able to get that PDF from the link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to talk about is actually the third control down, which is the href anchor. The first two, the ID anchor and the name anchor, are things that I really don't use in modern uh, HTML, but you do use the href anchor a lot. So if we want to link to something, we can do control C, control C, H, and then at the bottom in the mini buffer, there'll be an address that you can type in. So we could type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash google.com and hit enter. And that's going to fill in the href attribute. And then they'll place your cursor right between the opening anchor tag and the closing anchor tag. And within that, you can just write something like maybe link to Google. Okay. And let me just resize this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better there. Okay. All right. So that's the href anchor. We can also insert an image. So to do insert an image, you can do control C, control C, I, and it'll specify the image source. Now I don't have an images folder set up, but if I did, I'd do a dot forward slash images, and then whatever the name of the image was, let's just say my image uh, dot, um, let's say JPEG and hit enter and it puts your uh, cursor right in between the opening and closing quote for the alt tag. The alt tag is very important. So you would put whatever the alt tag is, this is my image I want to display. Maybe an image of a cat. As you can hear, my kitty in the background is making quite a racket as he wants some food. Anyways, let's continue. Next thing we're gonna cover is the paragraph. So to do that, I do control C and return, and that starts the paragraph tag. And then I can just start typing my paragraph. So I can either type or paste it in uh, with control Y, but let's type something. This is a paragraph. Uh, it is sorry about that, two sentences long, which really isn't a good paragraph, but you get the point. To close that, I can do control C and then the forward slash just like that, and that closes the tag. That doesn't just work with paragraphs, that works with any tag you'd want to close. Okay, let's say under the paragraph, I wanted a line break, which is a BR tag. I can do Control C, Control J, that gives me a line break tag. I can also do a horizontal break tag, that's, or a horizontal rule, that's Control C, Control C, and then a dash like that, and that gives me the horizontal rule. So a lot is you can you can type these real quick. You don't have to go to type the bracket and then type the tag and then then go type the closing bracket. And that's that really is a pain. Okay, let's talk about lists. So to get an ordered list, I do Control C Control C O, and that gives me the opening ordered list tag, the closing ordered list tag, and the opening li tag. So this would be list item one. Puts my cursor right at the list item. And I could close that with control C and then the forward slash. If I wanted another list item right on the same line, I can do control C, control C L, and that starts me at another list item. And I can just type list item two and then do control C forward slash to close that one out. <clears throat> All right, moving on, let's talk about the unordered list. So like the ordered list, you start with control C twice and then do instead of O, it's going to be U. So control C, control C, U. And the way I'm doing this is I just hold down the control button with my left hand and hit C twice, then let up on the control button and hit U. Okay. So uh, 
it's really fast when you're doing this. I'm slowing down for the video, but you could really create this quite fast. Then we do control C forward slash to close out uh, the tag there, and we can create another list item with control C, control C L. Okay, and we got list item two here and control C slash to close that one out. Then do control N to move down and then hit enter. Okay, headings. Uh, oh, actually, no, let's do checkbox and radio box. So checkbox, I can do control C, control C, C. That gives me a checkbox uh, and I can give whatever name, uh, Tim checkbox. <laughs> okay, and then we get a value and I'm just gonna get rid of that. I would have to enter my value and all that stuff. Um, for radio box, I would do control C, control C, R, and that's gonna give me my radio box. I'm just gonna quit out of that because I don't want radio box right now, but. Those are two different types of things we can do for inputs. Uh, for headings, we can do control C one for a heading one, for a heading two, control C two, uh, for a heading three, control C three, for a heading four, control C four. I think you get the picture. For a heading five, control C five, for a heading six, uh, control C six. And go to the end there. Okay, uh, if we want to insert some other type of tag, I can do control C, control O, and then in the mini buffer, it's going to ask you for the name of the tag. And I've used table before, um, but let's just do it again. So we'll do table and you insert a table tag and then it gives you a place to insert an attribute. If you want to insert an attribute, you could do say a class uh, and then put the value, I don't know, cool table. And then you can do another attribute or just hit enter. And then that closes out the tag. And actually you see, it starts with a table row below that and it gives you the cell kind. I'm going to quit out of that. And if I quit out, it just closes the table, but it's, it's, it's smart enough to know that, okay, within a table, we're then going to have a table row and so on and so forth. So that's, that's a cool thing uh, that really allows you to build a table quite quickly. And it gives you the structure. So you don't necessarily have to memorize it. If you're not that adept at building HTML tables yet, uh, you can let Emacs help you. Okay. Uh, you can insert attributes with control C control a when you're inside a tag. If we have, we want to go backward on a tag, we can do control C control B and it goes back to the starting tag. If we want to go to the closing tag, we can do control C control F. Okay. And that closes to the ending tag. Uh, to delete a tag, we can do control C backspace and we have to actually put this on or before the tag. So if I put it on the tag, this should work. So control C backspace, I'm going to undo that. We can also believe you can do control C D. Uh, no, that doesn't work. So control C backspace. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> to describe a tag, if we want to know what a tag does, we can do control C and then question mark, and then we can type in the tag. So let's do TR. <coughs> and you'll see in the mini buffer that it shows us that that is the table row separator. So that that tells us what that tag is. We can do that again. We can do control C uh, question mark and we can do let's say P and hit enter. It says well that's a paragraph start. Okay. That's the paragraph tag. So it tells you what each of these tags are. So if you're going through an HTML document and you don't understand a particular tag, you can also use Emacs to help you understand the HTML. You can say, well, what does that tag do? And, and Emacs will tell you. Okay. Uh, we can toggle tag visibility with control C, control uh, tab. I'm not going to do that right now. We can enter an old school italic tag with the meta key and O, or most often alt O and then I, and that'll insert uh, an italic tag. And I can say, this is italic text. Now you should note that in modern HTML, the EM tag is, uh, shows up as italicized text. That's to emphasize it. There still is a place for the I and B tags. If you're not trying to emphasize it, you're just trying to change the, uh, whether the tag is italicized or bold. Now you could get into an argument about that with a separation of concerns and you know, uh, really markup is to let the browser know what each particular tag is, but we're not gonna get into that here. But just know that these are older school tags. You can also do alt O B and that's gonna be the old school bold text. And I'll say this is bold text. 
And you might be seeing on the screen that the first one in between the I tags is italicized uh, on my display in Emacs. And the second one is bolded. I'm going to bring this up to the center with control L. Uh, so the second one is bolded. So it actually does display what each of those does. We can also do uh, alt O and then U for underlined text. So this is underlined text. And you'll see that Emacs will underline the actual text for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to move over here to my other buffer and just scroll down a little bit. So we're down to underline. Let's bring this up with control L to the center and then control X O to move to the other buffer here. Okay. Um, you can delete a tag. Uh, it's control C, control D. I'm sorry about that. So if we do uh, control C, control D, uh, we have to get it on or before the tag. So control C, control D, that deletes the opening and closing tag around the text. Pretty cool. All right. Um, Control-C, Control-E will close a tag. Uh, also, Control-C, uh, forward slash will close a tag. Uh, and also, Control-C and the closing square bracket will close a tag. All right, if we want to skip a tag backward, we can do Control-C and the left arrow, and that's going to skip backward a tag. Control-C, left arrow, that skips backward a tag. Control-C, forward arrow, skips forward a tag. Control-C, forward arrow skips forward a tag, okay? Um, we can also use I spell in this. So um, if you're writing an HTML document and I'm writing the word and I wanna do uh, no plain words, found it, okay. Um, so we're, we haven't found this word yet, but let's do, I don't know. Okay, so that, that we may have to load the dictionary, but that is an option in there. Uh, we talked about the radio button, okay. And we also want to talk about commenting out text. So if I do control space here and do control P, control P, and then control A, um, and I want to comment out this text, I can do control C, control semicolon. And, oh, sorry, control X, control semicolon. And that will comment out the line of text there. Uh, so it's that works for not just HTML mode, but other code modes. Uh, so control X, control semicolon will comment out lines of code, which is very helpful. Uh, that's pretty much it that I'm going to cover in this. This isn't all inclusive of all the things you can do when writing an HTML document in Emacs, but it's a lot to get started. Um, I'm going to leave this uh, PDF. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I hope you liked this video. If you did, could you please give it a like? Uh, I'd also want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.